what is up everybody welcome back to more mother 3 last episode we were literally in a cave because my mic sounded like crap anyways in this episode we are going to find the final battle right here you can get a legendary bat or I mean sorry a real bat um so let me find and equip stuff for our party just so we can find the way out you know so we can get the easiest way out of this thing um this is probably going to be a two-parter finale just because I like being like that and also just so I can upload the final episode the day before uh, All-Star Deathmatch comes back. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, that way I have my playthrough ended and it'll just be All-Star Deathmatch. Deathmatch. I don't even know how to pronounce my own series. All-Star Deathmatch for like a whole... Eh. I'm going to make an update video about that. Not the series, the first episode's coming out, uh, real soon, on the 10th. I'm not gonna do a street release, you know, like I always do. I'm gonna wait until the 10th, and that's when I'll upload it. Um, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do, just for the episode, for sakes, just, you know, do that and whatnot. I'm gonna probably create a schedule for uploading because I really want to get organized with my YouTube channel I have just been all over the place with YouTube videos like I just kind of upload whenever and stuff um, okay so while that's going on uh, let me tell you guys a little story actually so you guys know my friend Brian uh, Brian Omar and my friend Zane but first stop right there we got Porky is this the final battle <clears throat> this is no time for games anymore. I don't feel like letting you go any further. If you're after the needle, then don't worry. My adorable little monster's on the way to take it as we speak. <sighs> huh? That monster's name is Klaus? His name was Klaus? That almost sounds like a person's name, but now it's my robot. Not even a fragment of life remains inside it. It's Master Porky's slave robot. It does whatever I say. It acts on my will alone. It's my double. It doesn't know anything about you. who you are. Cough, cough, cough. Okay, so here we have Porky. He is our first final boss of the game. So, let's try to beat him. But first, I want to talk about this really nice story. Okay, so I was at a Pokemon. Not a Pokemon. I was at a... What do I think of Pokemon? Um, I was at a tournament for Smash Brothers called Busterville. It's a, it's a local tournament, okay? They have Pokemon... Why do I keep saying Pokemon? Wow. I'm, I'm just gonna leave this in, whatever. Um, I have... Gone to a tournament, Busterville, Smash Tournament. It has Smash Melee, which is probably the best competitive scene there in my hometown. And we have Smash 4, right? Okay, so it's a, you know, it's a cloudy day. Okay. We're... We're pretty much just finishing our brackets, you know, uh, at that tournament, I think I placed like 13th out of 30 people, which is kind of okay, but, um, you know, right during break time, we, we, you know, me and my friends decided, like, after we ate, we decided to go to Toys R Us, you know, so I can buy an Amiibo. Out at the time, I was looking for a Mega Man, okay, and apparently, I heard a restock was at Toys R Us for Mega Man, so, I went to Toys R Us, we got dropped. We got dropped off. It was drizzling. Okay, it was drizzling. We got dropped off, and you know, I never, I never shared their story actually. But we got dropped off in the Toys R Us. Well, no, like right in front. We got wet a little bit, you know, drizzle and stuff. I am going to the amiibo section. You know, you know, no Mega Man, whatever. Scalpers probably got him. So instead, I'm deciding. I spent ten minutes deciding if I should get a Link. Or a Marth. Marth. <laughs> There's no Marth in Toys R Us. You know that. Wow, I am really bad with talking. Sorry, guys. I just got back from a pool party. Whew. Very excited. Thanks, Omar. Okay. So, I, I get back from choosing. You know, I find the amiibos I want. I was like, okay, Omar, should I get a Link or a Yoshi amiibo? There's Links everywhere. I have shooting God the Yoshi, actually. Yoshi Smash Brothers amiibos are kind of getting hard to find. You know, but I'm not one of those collector guys, you know? I should've just gotten the Yoshi. Link is still everywhere. But he always gets restocked. 
but this is not the point. Okay, I took 20 minutes just to choose an amiibo, so of course I chose Link, because, you know, I was like, nah, I want another Link. You know, I'll probably get a Yoshi later. It's probably gonna be around. Okay, so I put Yoshi back, right? So my friend Zane wants to go look at Pokemon cards, him and Brian, and right when we get to the cards, there's this huge thunderclap going on outside, and I am just like, okay guys, we need to hurry the fuck up, you know, we need to get out of here. So, during all that, um, once we decide to go pay, we look outside. It looks like a fucking hurricane outside, okay? Let me just tell you how bad this storm is. Like, it looks like a fucking hurricane going on outside. Like, literally, wind was everywhere. And by everywhere, I mean everywhere. Okay. I'm literally just saying how bad it was, okay? We had no ride. So we just said, fuck it, we'll run to the tournament, which was like five miles uh, from Toys R Us. We thought it was closer to Toys R Us. It was pretty far. Okay, we kind of unestimated our, you know, our route over there. So, in the rain, I got soaking wet. Okay, there's this one area. We we're like at a motel. We found a motel called Motel 6. I'm pretty sure that's all uh, nationwide. Or white, whatever. So we find Motel 6, and with Motel 6 going on, we we camp out there, you know, for a second, like for a few 30 minutes. If that's a little bit, whatever. For 30 minutes, we camp there, just so we can, you know, cool off a bit, wait for help to come. Then our help can come because they're busy doing their tournament stuff. And so we just decided to run for it. We were pretty close this time. We were pretty close to finding the tournament area place. Okay, so here's the catch. Here's the catch. Are you ready? Okay, so we start running in this little, like, valley area creek thing. Okay, it's like the street. There's alleyways. You get me? We ran through the alleyways, okay? I'm running with my friends. This is an adventure, guys, okay? I'm running through this area. And I, I misstep my foot. And it lands in a cold puddle. And the, the, the puddle was so cold that it literally made me sound like Mario getting damaged. In, I mean, getting hit by cold or hot lava in Mario 64. You know what I'm talking about, like the, the sound he makes, you get me? And... Uh, it was... Ugh, it was really weird, okay? I... Ugh, I felt really bad about it. I was like, ugh, ah, ah. I made like weird noises on the way. So by the time we, you know, get rescued by uh, a friend of ours, um, I trip on my knee, and at the time my knee was pretty bad, so it hurt like shit. Okay. It hurt really bad. And then my friend Zane behind me just falls and trips and starts swimming in this little water puddle. It is soaking wet outside. Like, literally, we are drowning in puddles. Okay. That's how bad it was. It was like water everywhere. Every corner, every street, it was wet. Okay. Literally, the street on the right of us was flooded, but it was past the highway, so we couldn't see it. But that place was flooded. Um, it got pretty bad, okay? So once we got rescued, we were perfectly fine for, like, ever, okay? So we got back to the tournament safely. And luckily, we didn't get any, like, sickness or anything like that. It was, such, it was a good adventure, but it was also the worst thing that happened to me up to this point. So, I guess that's a little short, long story that pretty much took the whole episode. Now, let's just get back to fighting, because, you know, i just kind of been pressing buttons here. Okay. So, Porky's attacking us. Trying not to die, by the way. And, uh, can we live? Oh, I'll never die. I'll never die, nor I'll ever be beaten. 
but it appears my machine has run out of energy for the moment. <laughs> Lucas, you haven't won, just so you know. Oh, got this guy. I'm going to duck inside this absolutely safe capsule for the time being. When I'm inside, blah blah blah, effects are everywhere. <sighs> I'm just too tired to re uh, read this. I am literally at 4.32 a.m. right now. Basically what he's saying that Mr. he tricked Mr. Andonuts to making this thing for him. And we can't do shit to Pokey. Pork I'm still going to call him Pokey. I don't care. Pokey sealed himself inside the absolutely safe castle. So pretty much all we can do is heal ourselves. You know, we can't do anything. The battle's going to pretty much end on its own right now. So I'm going to throw the salt water gun on him. You know, just to show you guys what happens when we try to hit him. Um, I would just get... Contora to just heal. You know, she's pretty low on HP. Might as well. Uh, tickle stick. Actually, no, I'll get the magic pudding for Lucas. Oh, where is it? Oh, magic tart. Whatever. I thought we had a magic pudding. I don't know. Wait. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, I'll give the hot dog to Boney. Magic tart. Alright, life up. Alright. It doesn't do anything. Okay, so he's perfectly safe in there, but he, the catch about it, he can't get out. It's a funny thing too. Ugh. He can't get out from that. He's absolutely safe. The battle is pretty much over. So yeah, that's it. Oh my. I totally skimmed that by accident. I am so sorry. It's true that absolutely safe castle that the matter Mr. Sands and I developed together. Um fuck okay sorry I pressed the wrong button can protect one from each manner of danger it is an absolutely safe capsule but once you enter it nothing else can get out even what's outside the absolutely safe castle is absolutely safe I did tell Porky in a hushed voice that he shouldn't use it yet but all he can do now is live for an eternity inside the capsule in absolute safety who knows in a way maybe he would have gotten exactly what he wanted what is it you think is it me wrong to think this way I don't think it's wrong I don't know. But that's where I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. So thank you for listening to my story, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.